Welcome to today's episode of the Future Peds Res and Future Rads Res collaboration. Today I'm talking all about the interview length, that means the interview itself and also the whole interview day, what works, what doesn't work, we're going to talk about it all. I had the opportunity to chat about all things interview layout with two wonderful applicants. And I'll be wrapping the discussion up by talking to an applicant about the interactions that applicants have with residency leadership during the interview day. Let's get to it. Hi everybody, I'm Yasha Gupta. I'm a radiology resident. I think we met in the last episode. And today I'm joined by Adlai Grayson and Lindsay Kiskala. Um, Adlai is at Howard University and Lindsay is at Michigan State. And today we're gonna be talking about interview length. So um, I'll start with Adlai. Tell me about like one of your interviews. Was it really, give me, give me some insight. Oh no, you know, I, the sound just went out, but I think you said it's really long, really short, and I feel like for the most part, they're either 15 minutes, for the most part, they're 15 minutes, and a few times I've had 10 minutes, a couple other times I've had 20, and 15 definitely just seems the right spot if you have enough to, enough story to say, and if your interviewers have uh, questions or stuff to say to fill in the time if there is, if you don't have much more to say. So I think 15 minutes has been good. 10 minutes was a bit short. It felt like, they all feel like speed dating, but 10 minutes definitely. I didn't get much of my story out that I wanted to tell and and their story and their questions were quite pointed and that's all they pretty much got from me. Like the, the biggest question would be like, uh, why our program? So just having that ready to go, you know, if you only have 10 minutes, all right. But then 20 minutes one, I felt like I had much more time I could, breathe and just tell my story and then have a conversation with them. It was uh, much more relaxing. And I think it takes um, the edge off, especially if they have stuff to say as well, to make you feel comfortable, make you feel like you're welcome to the program. And I know the first interview of that day, I did rush through everything because I was afraid it'd be like a 15 minute interview again, but no, it, it was relaxing. So 20 minutes has been good. 15 is great if you if you've tailored your answers, yeah. 10 is too short. <laughs> 10 is too short. Yes, got that. Yeah, that does seem pretty short, to be honest. Like, I probably wouldn't even be able to get my questions out if I only had 10 minutes. Lindsay, do you feel like kind of the same way, or do you have like a different perspective? Yeah, I would, I would pretty much mirror that. Um, I think 10 minutes is way too short. Most of mine have been 15 to 20. I don't think I've had any that are longer than that. I think 20 is a good sweet spot. Um, feels like you kind of talk about everything and you, but you don't yet hit a point where you're like uh, okay what else is there to talk about like you don't get there yet um so i think longer than 20 25 minutes maybe at the top but if it was longer than that i think that would be too long too long yeah that sounds about right because it, it definitely can get awkward and then we're just like so what questions do you have and then you're forced to like make up questions you don't actually care about um, what about like the number of interviews in a day? Like, do you feel like maybe three or five? Like how many is too many and how many is not enough, you think? Um, yeah, I think that, um, I don't know, three, four is okay. I don't feel like there's, I, I, I'm pretty used to talking to people. I feel pretty comfortable talking to people. So I don't feel like there's any amount that's too many. I guess the only time where it feels like a lot is if you're waiting for other people to interview you know, if you're in a breakout room and other people are interviewing and then if you're sitting there for a long time because you have to get through five and or something, then that sort of changes it. But three, four, that seems like a pretty good spot. Yeah, I, I agree for the most part, just having a good, I think four has been good where I have the PD and the APD of the IR program and the PD and APD of the DR program, maybe a chief resident. So I think that's been a good combination for me. Um, but there have been some that have been longer and it's just, it keeps going and it does drain a lot. And you say your story multiple times in the day. Uh, th there will be breaks, but uh, it just, it does drain on you when you have a full day of over five interviews, it does, it gets a lot. So I think three or four or up to five. Adla, I have a question for you. So you mentioned your dual applying IR and DR. So mm -hmm. have you had to like interview with like all the IR people and then all the DR people? Does that make your interview day like really long or have most places like kind of made it shorter so it's 
not too bad. <laughs> no, most places have made it shorter where they combine the IR and PD and the DR faculty. And they would mostly, most often I get an IR resident to interview with as opposed to a DR chief resident. And um, there have been a couple of times where it's the day is longer just because they'll do our DR block of people first and then the IR people second or the other way around. So I just have to prepare mentally before going into it, knowing that it's just going to be a longer day and I'll have to answer more questions. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah, I can see how that could like when I was interviewing in person, obviously some people, some of my days would be like with people that are also interviewing for IR. So they'd be like, OK, DR only can do DR in the morning and the IR people will do the like do yes. that in the morning and then we'll switch. But if we're not doing IR, then we get to leave. So the people that were doing IR would have to have like double the interview day. So I'm glad yeah. it's not like that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lindsay, have there been portions of the interviews that like you find are not as helpful? Like, are there times when like you're just, you like maybe like a tour or do they try to do a tour or they do like conference? Like, do you find these things that add extra time to be useful in evaluating a program? Um, I have not had a conference. Um, I have had a couple of years and I think they're pretty helpful. Um, it more if it's a video not if it's like filmed live that just gets to be too much I think um, one thing I will say that is kind of a lot it feels redundant is if they have a meet and greet the night before and then also a meet with residents during the interview day I, yeah it looks like you agree with me too yeah that's just like you know it's like do you have any question overload and it's it's hard because you get your questions kind of answered the night before and then that day you meet different residents and then I don't, I mean, I guess you can ask the same questions, but then it sort of looks like you're not all that interested in because you don't have any questions because you asked them the night before. So if there's anything to cut out, it would be like pick one or the other. I personally prefer the Q&A on the day of the interview because I think sometimes lining up the night before is a little bit more challenging, but that's just personal preference. But either way, it would be fine to pick one. Have you guys been in any interviews that are like way too long, like just... So, because I feel like our program actually is on the longer side, and I think I've gotten that feedback that like it's just so long. But I don't know if it's just us. It might be just us. Oh, well, there was I've had a couple where they did break up the DR and IR interviews, and that did just run all day. Which I mean, that was their preference, and it it was just a long day. And I was thankful they invited me to both, but I just I knew. It was, I had to mentally prepare that it was just going to be eight to five and interviews every other 15 minutes with breaks put in, which I appreciated. It was just one of those long days. Eight to five. That is really long. Mm -hmm. That. Yes. Yeah, so with like a, like a morning presentation and DR, then noon conference and IR stuff, and then an, an end of the day sort of wrap up. I'm just like wrapping up. We're done with the questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Great. gosh yeah thank you Adlai and Lindsay for talking about interview length this was a great perspective to hear from applicants as an applicant myself I agree with everything that you said there's definitely a too long interview day and obviously 10 minutes is way too short for one interview so I totally agree with everything you said All right, cool. So I'm, I'm lucky enough to be chatting with Abra and Kylie all about uh, the interview day layout. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves, I don't know, uh, Kylie, you want to go first? Sure. Yeah, I'm Kylie Seeley. I am applying into pediatrics and we were going to say our favorite um, oh, yeah. holiday treat. <laughs> uh, mine is mold wine that I make from scratch. Ooh, wow. fancy. And then Abra? <laughs> <laughs> and hi everyone, my name is Abra. I'm applying into plastic surgery this cycle. My favorite holiday treat is just drinking hot chocolate. I like that. I had that uh, last night. Although mulled wine, um, I would like to have. <laughs> it makes the whole house smell like the holidays. So <laughs> that sounds great. Um, I think mine would be uh, peppermint bark, which you know it's like fun to make from scratch and things like that. But we'll see. I just wanted to chat about the layout of. Um, you know, different interview days. So obviously we're applying into different specialties. So there may be differences there. Um, just in general, if e each of you kind of want to walk through uh, the normal interview day layout. Abra, you can go ahead. Sure. Plastic surgery interviews are pretty short and simple. 
typically the interview day starts with a program introduction, um, about one hour. So sometimes there's a Q and A with the residents immediately after, and then the interviews range between, in my experience, one to three hours. And sometimes you have a little bit of break in between those two sessions where you can, you know, nap or do whatever you need to do in the day. And then after your interviews, you're really done. Um, some programs also have a resident meet and greet either mm -hmm. the night before as a pre-interview social um, or afterwards. I'd cool. say um, peds are a little bit longer for the day. Um, <laughs> typically, I've only really applied to West Coast programs, so I guess I can't speak for um, nationally, but um, from my experience thus far, um, there's been a meet and greet with the residents, um, typically like the night before or that week um, that you can sign up for that's completely optional. And then we'll start out the morning with introductions with the program director, um, meeting some residents, usually doing about an hour similar to you um, or similar to plastics uh, about the program. Um, there's been a couple programs that did a virtual tour. Um, and then <clears throat> it depends on, I've had um, a couple different types of interviews. So one 50 minute interview, which was interesting. Um, and then a couple uh, programs have done like 30 minute interviews um, and some have done like 15 minute interviews. So uh, they, <laughs> there's a whole plethora of <laughs> options. <laughs> um, and then it'll typically uh, kind of wrap up the day uh, with any more questions from an APD or uh, the chief residents. Yeah, I think I've had pretty similar experiences to you, Kylie, and, and definitely there, are, <laughs> there seem to be some differences between uh, plastic surgery and PEDS. Um, so it's interesting to kind of, you know, think about um, the thought processes that, you know, leadership had in, in kind of creating um, these different interview days. Mm -hmm. um, for both of you, what, uh, I guess, what has been, um, kind of maybe your favorite part of interview, interview day or what has really worked in terms of the layout so far? I've really liked the socials. I mean, I think uh, the most structured socials are the ones that I have found the most helpful. So one of the mm -hmm. programs I had had different breakout rooms and there was an activity in each breakout room, which was fun. So like mm -hmm. we, it was a scavenger hunt. So like you had to go find something in your house and bring it back um, and share with the group about it. Um, and the residents participated in that. And I felt like that felt the most um, indicative of kind of who the residents were as people, which I thought was helpful during this virtual cycle. Right, you have breath. And we had, um, we had different breakout rooms and in one room we played charades and in another room played two truths and a line. It was really fun. Speaking about the actual day itself, do, um, do either of you feel like there's anything kind of lacking from your day or do you feel like the way that things have been laid out for plastics and peds respectively, that um, things are covered pretty well. I definitely feel like things are covered pretty well. Sometimes I feel like it's a little too long, especially mm -hmm. to be staring at your computer for five hours with, I don't know, 15 minute breaks mixed in. Um, things that I have saw done really well um, was like interactive. So one of the programs had like a whiteboard set up. And so the PD presented um, as she would in person, kind of like on the whiteboard on Zoom. Um, which I thought was helpful because sometimes I feel like those intro uh, PowerPoints can get a little stale. Um, and so I thought that was a, a good mix up in the process. Yeah. Um, some plastic surgery interviews I've done to give you some information before your interview day, they'll send you some videos. And so one program um, recorded a virtual tour that you could watch. And it, I think it was a little bit better because instead of watching them live, walked down a hallway they like sped that part up and you know if we're applying to surgery we're a little more impatient um so that was really fun and then another program did a recording where they interviewed every single resident and they talked about why they loved their program and they put it all together in a really sweet video and that was really nice too and it's always good i think to have that so you can look back on it after the interview day too so that in a few months when you're coming back to your rank list it's not like a very quick tour that you forget the next day you have it to look at later as well. And I, I'll add to that. I think that's a hundred percent true uh, for PEDS as well. I found it really helpful to have those videos to kind of look back on or look at before the interview day. Um, I do feel like we, in general, everyone's kind of missing out on the vibe of the program. That's what everyone says, right? Like it's your gut instinct. Um, and the thing that I've found helpful that some programs have done, I think almost by accident, is watching the residents interact with one another 
um, while we're waiting to get put into breakout rooms or watching um, the residents interact with faculty um, has been super helpful, I think, in kind of getting to know that vibe that we might be missing otherwise. Absolutely agree with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially like even during the little five minute breaks between interviews when faculty are chatting with each other, mm -hmm. like there's music going on and things like that. Um, that's been really fun to just sit back and, and kind of smile and watch them interact with each other. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I think we covered pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. And it was nice to hear about the differences, but also honestly, the similarities and how we're really all in this together and everyone's, you know, kind of learning as we're going. And um, honestly, I feel like things have been, you know, people have been doing a good job of just kind of figuring out, you know, um, the next time something like this happens, um, <laughs> how to keep And which moving. parts to keep for next year's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, awesome, thanks. All right, Ruben, thanks so much for joining us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Ruben. I'm a fourth year medical student at Indiana University and I'm applying emergency medicine. So you talked about these the the interview structure, but does anything have you had anything else that happens on your interview day? Like, is there stuff before and after your interviews? Yes, I'd say it's been pretty variable for the programs. It, it usually does always start with kind of an uh, introduction uh, where all the staff introduce uh, themselves. Sometimes they'll have all the applicants introduce themselves as well, uh, followed by the interviews, and then um, you know half an hour to an hour uh, just talking about the program. Um, I've had one program that had to sit on a lecture, which that took up like half, <laughs> half, uh, I guess the interview time. Um, and did you uh, like yeah, that? I, I, did it add to your experience? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, considering it was virtual, I would say not really. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to get a feel for anything virtually, uh, especially a lecture. Uh, one of the topics was pretty interesting, so I didn't, I didn't mind too much, but, uh, one of the other topics is not as interesting. So then, you know, you're just sitting there listening to a lecture for an interview, yeah. um, which I thought was a little weird. Um, I mean, I get that they're trying to show, you know, what the program's like. Um, obviously, it's challenging uh, over uh, Zoom, but yeah, I, I've only had that happen once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a um, morning report, which started our day off. Like they started the entire interview day with an hour morning report from mm -hmm. seven to eight and it was a, a didactic section session and they wanted the applicants to answer the questions on their morning report and i was like this is just not right <laughs> i'm not into this so anyway so i guess my next question um that i have is if you had to identify um a group uh, or a stakeholder during your interview day whether it's the program director chief resident so on and so forth that you think is um, for you, the most impactful um, that you get the most out of, but you could only pick one. Uh, what what comes to mind first? Hmm. I'd say the interactions with faculty is probably the most impactful. Just um, because I mean, you'll be probably be interacting with faculty more than uh, the PD itself. Um, and then honestly, I've had good experiences with all the residents, so I, I feel like I base it more on the faculty, like how laid back they are. Um, you know, what are their interactions like with residents? Um, you know, I, I feel like that's, I'd say the, yeah, the faculty are most impactful for me. Mm. You know, what I noticed is, um, I might venture to say personally that I've gained the most information in that short blip of time in between sessions when the, they're talking to each other and we're on the mm. camera and you can see how they are day to day when we're not even yeah. around. I, I That's kind of what I like a lot. I feel like you get, I feel like if there's any time where you get a good vibe, it's like seeing them when they're not thinking you're there, you know, the programs in their yeah. own natural habitat. <laughs> it's always a good sign when they're able to joke around with each other, the faculty and even the residents. Uh, well, I guess, especially if residents and faculty are able to joke around with each other, because that just shows you they have a good dynamic there you know, on a, they have a good relationship. Uh, they're easily approachable. Yeah. All right. So final, final consideration. So if you were a program director, let's think about this and you were designing this, something's flying around here. If you were designing this um, virtual day, right? Virtual interview day. Um, what, what do you think is the sweet spot in terms of time that you would give applicants 
introduction period with the director, with residents? Would you also do residents and chief residents? Uh, what, what do you think would be the most helpful having gone through this now for uh, other applicants? Uh, I, it's so tough. Uh, obviously the social is one of the most important things the night before, um, but the actual interview day itself, um, I feel like I would make the interviews longer. I think 15 to 20 minutes isn't, isn't really long enough. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily enough for a program to get a good idea of, you know, the applicant and vice versa as well. Um, of course, the issue is they have so many applicants to interview. I don't know if that would even be possible. Um, How many total interviews would you have then? If there were longer interviews, would you have sh less of them? No, uh, I wouldn't have less of them. Um, mm -hmm. If anything, I would, I would add on having uh, just some upper level residents as well. So they generally do have chief residents interviewing you. Um, but I feel like I would have like second or third year uh, EM residents interviewing as well. Um, I mean, because even then, like my interviews, the emergency medicine interviews are typically only three to four hours. Like that's pretty short, which is kind of nice, but it's also, uh, it's also so short. So it's so hard to get a feel of the program, you know? Mm. <clears throat> so you, uh, and so then you would do, argue, what, are you saying that it might be too short, four hours? Um, yeah, I think it might be a little too short. I felt, I felt like it was, I felt like most of my interviews were a little short, to be honest. Um, I do like that it's one-on-one -on -one usually in emergency medicine. I, I've rarely had um, uh, people double up and I really like that aspect, especially in Zoom. You know, I think it's so easy to talk over each other when there's uh, more than two people. So I think that just makes it much more difficult when they double up. And I just, I prefer that one-on-one -on -one interaction, especially virtually. Um, but yeah, once again, it's, it's just so tough to do because they have so many applicants to interview. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't know what the perfect answer is. Yeah, that's tough. I've, I found, um, I found a little redundancy in a lot of my interviews when I have a full hour with just residents and then a full hour with just chief residents and inevitably all your questions are exhausted in the first third of that first hour. And then you have a full another three sessions worth to ask questions. Right. And so again, like, like you'd said, Ruben, at the beginning, you know, no, there was no rule book or guidebook this season. People are definitely trying their best. Like yeah. programs are showing up. You can tell residents are all in. Um, I think by way of just discussing and having conversations afterward, we're finding like things that are definitely working super well. And you guys have both highlighted like stuff the night before and just uh, talking to residents in between, even if it's casual. But then sometimes so we might have redundancies in their effort to make sure all your answer questions are answered mm -hmm. right so um i am not sure it's a fault or a right or wrong but just things to consider i liked what one program did um for their interviews so they actually every person was kind of like assigned a category so that interviewer would only ask like questions pertaining to that category so you know there was no redundancy then every interviewer asks different questions, which I like that. Because yeah, in most of my interviews, yeah, they, they tend to look, kind of look at the highlights of your resume and ask about that. And then, you know, you kind of have the same conversation uh, three or four different times. Uh, so I did like that, that they, that they you know, uh, agreed beforehand what kind of questions each person would ask before. I did want to thank you for, for joining and discussing today. And we'll continue to follow your guys' journeys on Twitter. You're on Twitter, right, Ruben? Yeah, I have Twitter. Okay, perfect. Well, everyone, think, we'll, we'll check out Ruben Garrett's Twitter. I don't Twitter. think I've ever tweeted. Well, maybe I, uh, we'll have to, we'll fix that now. I just uh, retweet and like things. Awesome. Well, we'll look out for you and follow your journey and wish you the best of luck this season. Sounds good. All right, that about wraps up this episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we're really excited to chat about interview content in the next one. See you then.